The Metabolt project is part of the European Union funded Switch Asia program. This four year project began in 2016 and is targeted at the metal product supply chain in the building and construction sectors in Bangladesh, Nepal, and Sri Lanka. The project objectives are to implement resource efficient cleaner production or RECP measures in metal product SMEs create a local pool of RECP consultants, and engage stakeholders to build a supportive framework for resource-efficient SMEs. Direct industry support is a core component and has been successfully implemented using a systematic and business-oriented approach. Opportunity mapping for resource and waste reduction is the first step to generate an initial assessment report. RECP implementation actions are prioritized with industry inputs. Low or no cost implementations are selected initially. Higher cost options requiring access to finance are also discussed. Continuous handholding is done for implementation by providing technical know how and monitoring of progress. The resources and monetary savings are documented and illustrative showcases prepared to influence other industries. विगत तीन वर्ष देखिन स्विच एशिया कंपनी वाटा मेटाबिल प्रोजेक्ट वन्य संचालन में आए कुछ है वहाँ सारों आए रा प्रोजेक्ट हेडन वो रा कि दस बार वाटा पॉइंट में वहाँ ले फोकस करनु वो रा हमें ले देरी खुशी लाया था रा ऐले एनालिसिस करता कि धेरे ने बेनिफिट देखी कुछ है सेविंग आरु एनर्जी सेविंग कुछ ह अने पोल्यूशन को कुड़ा करो अने पोल्यूशन पर इधर एक कम भाग चा सोशल जोन हमरो कंप्लेन हो रही होती हो पनी कम भाग हो चा अने मलाई चा कि स्क्रैप रिजेक्शन हो रही जोन जेनरेशन चा तो पनी रिड्यूस भाग हो चा इधर एक फायदेमंद देखिए कुछ है मेटाबॉल अन्य तस्वीर जी और को क्या हुआ बने जस्तो ये पिकलिंग हाउस में हाई कार्बन पिकलिंग का नाला या लो कार्बन पिकलिंग का आमिले एसीएल एसीड और यूज़ करते हों एसीएल एसीड एसीएल एसीड दूसरे में यूज़ करते हों जून की ह्यूमन हेल्थ को ले हज़ार हज़ार डस्ट हो साथ साथ ये बहुत ही संरचना र एसीएल को यूज़ चाहिए बंद करें रा एसीड को यूज़ बंद करें रा आमिले डिस्केलिंग मेथड बाँटा अनि लो प्रोडक्शन शुरू करें हों अनि तेज़ लेके और ने 50 परसेंट टोटल जो नी एसीड कंज्यूमशन तो साल भरी को 50 परसेंट आमलो डाउन भाई सीखियो धेरे ने आमिले सेव करना सके और इन्वायरमेंट ने भी सुधार and uh, you see it for a result of two years, three years, all of this expenditure are paid off back. When the working environment is good, the productivity will be good. When the working environment is good, your output will be good. The cost of production will be good. Your labor will be giving more output. So overall, once again, I am very thankful for the Metabil team who have helped us to get these results. And we also are ready to work for the other projects, coming up projects of the Metabil so that we can give more better results to the company. Actually, Metabil project is, you know, I like very much because they not only giving us suggestions, after the suggestion, they were with us, they uh, gave us the suppliers and they monitored the process and after implementation also they monitored the achievements and then uh, what is the plus minus, they gave us advice. They uh, gave us, uh, you know, some uh, ideas to uh, implement about uh, 20 to 25 areas where we can work. Out of that, already about 18 uh, we have implemented and uh, one is uh, under implementation and about another uh, four to five is, uh, you know, we are considering implementation. Uh, when talking about the major implementation, you know, we replaced the recuperator of our reheating furnace where we recovered a lot from the furnace oil consumption 
and then we replaced the fiber bearing with the roller bearings there we reduced about 50% of our electricity cost and then when coming to the environmental area you know we replaced our uh, old scrubber system with the new uh, filter bag system so there you know we uh, managed to get uh, good results uh, with the environmental aspects the opacity and the sox nox levels have come down drastically dang ape rupe ma usala diyenawa e ekeng unda ulang parak kenawa anith eka katire weda karanna pulang widiyata rasne adu wela diyenne aya transparent seat dala diyenawa ekeng light eka athulata enawa factory e undata peenawa By installing the the magnetic separator, the, we got uh, you know benefit from uh, recovering cost uh, from the labor areas, as well as our the efficiency is improved the melting side, as well as uh, the main uh, benefit we got is we got lot of free space. So we are now we are planning to do our future developments. पेन सेक्शन जो क्षेत्र कर आगे जो पेनगुल विभिन्न भावे एक बहरे पड़े जित हेतु से ट्रे या तैरी ट्रेर माध्यम एक निर्दिष्ट जगार मध्य क्योंकि इया कर नहीं अर्थात निजे रिइूज आर रिइज करते ट्रे व्यवहार करार कारण हे कि पेनगुल वास्टेज हार सूझ नहीं बोलोम जो अर्थात क्षुद्र क्षुद्र जर्जी तात्निक भावे हमारे क्षुद्र क्षुद्र मन हे पेंटे तो आज के सामान्य पेंट ही नष्ट होता को समय एक इयर नहीं गए देखा गया बड़ एक फिगार हो दाड़ा भलियम अनेक बड़ो है फाइनसियल दिक्कत के प्राय धारणा प्राय नियर अबाउट टू मिलियन टाक ए रकम ही सेव एस जाए I will point out two things. One thing I was uh, attracted by your project that is documentation. I would say this is fantastic documentation. And another point is that this repeated visit. Production plan, our mother ke one help korte. Ita section wise, I mean the plan gulu korte. Protecta. सेक्शने जो मैन पावरगुल डेलि हमारे शिड्यूल थे प्रोडक्शन शिड्यूल थे प्रति मिनिटे प्रति घंटा अन सैटे मैं खोज नाव लागे ना कारखाना निरापत्ता सम्पर्क कम्पानी हमारे निरापत्ता दिए रास्ता अनेक सुंदर कर चलाचल करते को असुविधा है ना और निरापतार जन अनेक सहयोगता करें आगे विद्युत बंद कर रेखे थी खाइते जतम क्यों बंद कर रेखे जाए ये विद्युत बिल कम आसे दुर्घटनार आशंका था by knowing that we are in different countries we knew already okay we have three cultures which have we had to recognize and we had also three different organizations working differently and in these organizations three different levels of RCP experience and knowledge so we had to adapt at least our approaches accordingly to these situations Through implementing more than 3700 RECP measures in over 400 industries across three countries we have sensitized over 3000 industry personnel and could save up to 13000 tons of CO2 emissions in particular per annum 34 million kilowatt hour of energy 49 million liters of water and over 4 million kilograms of material have been saved all these contribute to monetary savings of over 2.9 million euros per annum for implementing high cost investments smes require capital under this project we have facilitated over 120 industries to identify access to finance opportunities some of these industries have already received finance as part of the stakeholder sensitization we have organized four customer round tables in which major customers industry associations 
chambers and some government bodies from building and construction sectors were trained on analyzing and greening their supply chains. These customer roundtables have also resulted in mobilizing industries to participate in the project. We have also organized three clean technology fairs, one in each country, where MetaBuild SMEs could connect with clean technology suppliers and financial institutions. Another major stakeholder group in the project are financial institutions. We are proud to have trained over 30 financial institutions on developing clean tech and sustainable financing products. We have also supported around six financial institutions in further development of these products through one-to-one -one prototype workshops with their staff. This particular workshop helped us to have a structured methodology in terms of identifying the opportunities that are out there and how we can uh, internally uh, work with different teams to come up with products for the market. We feel that this is a potential that all other all commercial banks can benefit from. At Nations Trust Bank, and we have already uh, come up with a green mortgage product which stemmed from this particular workshop. So we are very, very fortunate to have got this opportunity and we are very thankful for Metaville project for giving us this opportunity. Representatives from government, industry and consulting firms from focus countries participated in a three-day regional policy dialogue. This event aimed at peer learning across countries to prototype potential solutions that would embed RECP in the policy framework of the respective countries. This three-day interactive workshop was very insightful as it brought in the learnings from other South Asian countries who face almost similar challenges when it comes to policy formulation. This step-by-step -step prototyping of potential solutions approach has helped in brainstorming on every aspect of policy design and implementation. The capacity building of local teams to support SMEs is one of the key outputs of the project. This has been achieved through various training of trainers workshops with topics ranging from technical, financial to improving consulting skills. During the project period, we have trained 59 local consultants. From TUT1, we got learned that how to approach the owners and management in the factory and in duty 2 we have got learned very much technical sessions. After that training, uh, we were able to really go to the industry and identify options ourselves and uh, present to them in a very confident way so that they, also, they were also uh, very impressed uh, and uh, started impl implementing those things uh, quickly. The Experience Excellence Program. In this program, consultants from the different countries were participating and uh, I got an opportunity to know their experiences and challenges that they had faced. I will definitely use these, uh, uh, these experiences in the upcoming future works. Terrific support of the local team and support from our senior colleagues. I think now I feel that we are able to achieve some good results, some satisfying results. If I look back, it's a great journey. Being a multi-country action, the project management was challenging. We put up many systems in place, were regularly in touch, and had an open and transparent approach. All this contributed towards early troubleshooting and relatively smooth operation. The industries has benefited in terms of, uh, you know, saving in their resources, be it material, be it energy, and they have been able to reduce the generation of waste and also they have been able to improve the working environment or the working condition in the industries. Whenever we talk with them regarding these projects, they always appreciated us that this project is very helpful to, for them. Some things they did not know before, after projects, they get a lot of from this approach and also the technical support of these projects. Metabil project has introduced a novel methodology to introduce resource efficiency to the industries with various tools and techniques that will be helping to the country in overall to continue this kind of activities even for the future. 
in all three countries, the project is leaving behind trained teams, methodology, templates, showcases, and new networks with different stakeholders. I am very hopeful that this will enable the country partners to continue with this approach and impact many more industries.